That's very kind. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is sometimes called pantheistic religion. I call it Einsteinian religion. When Einstein said, did God have a choice in creating the universe, he meant, could the universe have begun in more than one way? God does not play dice was Einstein's poetic way of doubting Heisenberg's indeterminacy principle. He Einstein did not believe in God. He did not believe in a personal God. He was irritated when people said that he did. But what did he expect? The hunger to misunderstand should have been palpable to him. Religious physicists, if you meet one, usually turn out to be so only in the Einsteinian sense. They are atheists of a poetic disposition, and so am I. But given the widespread yearning for that great misunderstanding, deliberately to confuse Einsteinian pantheism with supernatural religion is an act of intellectual high treason. Another example of Einsteinian religion, the Indian-American Nobel Prize winning physicist Subramanian Chandrasekhar said, this shuddering before the beautiful, this incredible fact that a discovery motivated by a search after the beautiful in mathematics should find its exact replica in nature persuades me to say that beauty is that to which the human mind responds at its deepest and most profound. The American physicist John Wheeler said, we will grasp the central idea of it all as so simple, so beautiful, so compelling, that we will all say each to the other, oh, how could it have been otherwise? How could we all have been so blind for so long? Don't forget, by the way, with all this talk of aesthetic beauty, beauty isn't enough. It must also be true. And that comes, finally, to evidence. Beauty may be a good guide to the stage of science where we put forward hypotheses, but those hypotheses must finally be tested. Carl Sagan said this, how is it that any... How is it that hardly any major religion has looked at science and concluded this is better than we thought? The universe is much bigger than our prophets said, grander, more subtle, more elegant. Instead, they say, no, 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 my God is a little God, and I want him to stay that way. A religion, old or new, that stressed the magnificence of the universe as revealed by modern science might be able to draw forth reserves of reverence and awe hardly tapped by the conventional faiths. Sooner or later, such a religion will emerge. Einsteinian religion, pantheistic religion, does not involve belief in anything supernatural. The pantheistic God doesn't exist, except in a purely poetic sense. Of those people who do believe in a supernatural God, Many make a distinction between deism and theism. The deistic God designs the laws of physics and then retires never to be heard from again. <laughs> Certainly not interested in human affairs. The theistic interventionist God. <laughs> there he is. He's parting the Red Sea then. He intervenes in the world, intervenes in human affairs, performs miracles, answers prayers, and all that other list of things that I gave you earlier. 